Rainy, the woman from the Yoga Studio app, speaks first. Hi, I'm Rainy. I'm the woman from the Yoga Studio app. She has a really soothing voice. I own my own yoga studio. I've been doing yoga for about 10 years now. I know, I look too young for that. She does. But I have three children. Two of them stay at home with a babysitter when I go on yoga retreats. The other one was just born a month ago, so he comes with me, at least for now. I know, I look too young to have three children. She really does. Even though I own my own yoga studio, I think going back to basics is incredibly important. I think it's one of the most important tenets of yoga practice. You learn so much from finding out how your body feels those basic stretches, even after 10 years of experience, especially after 10 years of experience. If you like the class here, I hope you give my yoga studio a try as well. I try to foster a very warm, welcoming, open environment for beginners and more advanced yogis alike. Her voice is soothing. It's warm, welcoming, and open, so you can be sure her yoga studio is like that too. I'm so very excited to be here with you, going back to the basics. I'm going back over the basics myself too. There's always more to learn and explore about your body. She speaks softly and slowly and soothingly, like she might hypnotize you. Hi. I'm Rainy. Welcome to class. I'm so glad you came today. January, the first lesbian from the Painting by Numbers app speaks next. Yoga? Nope. Not for me. Some lesbians are really into that stuff, like the hippie, dippy, vegetarian stuff. I mean, I am vegetarian, but I don't do yoga. I think my colors are just too loud for it, honestly, because you're supposed to be like, quiet. Her beanie is bright purple and pink, and her shirt is yellow and orange. Her jeans are plain blue, but then they've got neon green trimming on the bottom, and her skateboard's green too, so you could say her colors are too loud. I never really thought about it as the thing, yoga, like, that's what we used to make fun of people for when we'd pass the yoga studio on, I, I don't know where, on Third Avenue, but Upper East Side probably, or on Lexington. Did I get it right? I figured that's where it would be. We'd make fun of all the chicks and then we'd go to Pinkberry. <laughs> I think now I'd probably wait outside and try to ask one of them on a date because I'm older now, but still, it's not for me. Though maybe she'd get me into it, the chick I'd pick up outside the yoga studio. She would. The chick she'd pick up outside the yoga studio would get her going to class because she's more open than she knows how to say to the yoga studio. Most people call me Jan, because it's less complicated than January. I mean, everybody knows the word January because of it being a month, obviously, but it makes things confusing for people because they'll ask my name and then they'll think I'm saying my birthday. So usually now I just say Jan and it makes things easier and it sounds more butch anyway. Even though I'm not really that butch. She really isn't that butch. I haven't been by the Upper East Side's yoga studios in years. I, I don't go to school up there anymore, but hey, maybe sometime I will for posterity, nostalgia. Tomorrow, maybe, or the next day, or maybe sometime next week or next month. B, the second lesbian from the Painting by Numbers app, doesn't speak because she's reading. Her phone rings before she can speak. It's out of the frame, so she reaches for it, even though she doesn't want to. But she wants to keep reading. The call is from January. January was B's friend from middle school. They spent all of middle school being friends, and they stayed friends, but they didn't know until college. That both of them were lesbians. They each found out through the other one's Facebook post. But... They're not romantically involved. They're just friends. There is such a thing as lesbians being just friends with each other. January? B answers the phone and leans on the book she's reading about yin and yang. Yeah, hey, it's Jan. What's up? B wants to be happy to talk to Jan, but 
she also wants to keep reading or drinking her cocoa. She could do that anyway, so she balances on one elbow with the phone between her shoulder and ear, and she reaches for that mug of cocoa. Her arm shakes a little, so she spills and burns herself, but not too much. Ow. What? Oh, sorry. What's up, Jan? I was thinking of going to Third Avenue or maybe Lexington on the Upper East Side. Oh? To go to Pinkberry, like, you know, for old time's sake, like for nostalgia. Cool. B still can't find Jan's point. The book is calling her. Do you like, do you want calm? She gets it now. She's not sure she wants to go, but she knows Jan wants her to go, so she goes. Yeah, sure. I'll see you there in half an hour. B has to straighten up the books that surround her, spread out on her turquoise rug on the floor. She reads all nine books simultaneously, one page of each in rotation. There's one book about yin and yang, and several about plants, and one about a bird, and one about lighthouses. She keeps track of what's going on in every one, even as she reads in her rotation. She reads with her glasses off because they're for distance, but she keeps track of them at all times. Because once, she broke a pair of glasses when she left them sitting on the floor near her elbow. She leaned on them, and that was it. <laughs> so she keeps track of them now. B puts her glasses on her face and straightens up all her books, with bookmarks in each one, all leaving off on page 53. She finishes her cocoa, even though it burns her tongue and the roof of her mouth. She leaves the mug in her sink to clean later and runs one hand through her short hair. Brushed. Let's start with a short breathing exercise, says Rainy, the woman from the yoga studio app. Except today she's in her own yoga studio on Third Avenue or maybe Lexington on the Upper East Side. Her voice is soothing as it always is. Let's inhale for two Exhale for two. In, one, two, out, one, two. Good. Now inhale for four, exhale for four. In, one, two, three, four, out, one, two, three, four. This time for eight. Inhale and exhale for eight. In, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it, one, two, three, four. Feel the breath, the power stored inside you in that breath. And out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In the window of the yoga studio, Jan and B pass by on their way to Pinkberry. Jan talks and B listens. B listens intently and Jan talks intently. Jan doesn't stop talking, but she does turn to look inside the yoga studio. Let's begin in downward dog. Rainy sees Jan looking. Jan sees Rainy seeing her looking. B sees 16 handles up ahead. Do you want to go to 16 Handles? I could go for 16 Handles. B interrupts Jan to say. Uh, no, I, I really want Pinkberry today. Is that cool? Yeah, that's cool. Step both feet forward to the front of your mat to meet your hands. Reach around to the backs of your legs for standing forward bend. Jan and B sit in Pinkberry. It's like old times, like nostalgia, like you wanted, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. I was reading this book about lighthouses, about the lighthouses in North Carolina. I was reading nine books, actually. Oh, all at once? You always read nine books all at once. I remember. Yeah, but the best one was about lighthouses. B is too shy to tell Jan about the yin and yang book, her real favorite. But the Lighthouses book was her second favorite. 
I wouldn't be able to focus on all the different books, you know? I wouldn't even be able to focus on one book. Like, yeah. That's why I don't get bored. B stirs the soup building up at the bottom of her cup of yogurt. She eats a raspberry with a mouthful of frozen yogurt and braces herself for the brain freeze. It doesn't come and she feels a little silly for bracing herself. I miss pizza, you know? B's not sure what Jan means. She had pizza for dinner two nights ago. Old Giovanni's isn't there anymore. Oh. I miss their pizza. It was always too expensive. But it was the best. It was. They're not sure what to say. Jan, because she really just wanted an excuse to walk by the yoga studios. B, because she's not sure why she's here instead of with her nine books at home on her turquoise route. I have a girlfriend, B says. Uh, oh. Yeah, for a few months now. It, it didn't say on Facebook, did it? Not yet. We're not there yet. Oh. But we're serious. Yeah? And you and I are just friends, right? Jan realizes that B thought something. Jan realizes that maybe she should explain. Jen isn't sure how to explain because she knows that she should, but because this is awkward. I have a girlfriend, so like, I thought we were just friends. Jan? Best friends, but like- Oh yeah, we are just friends. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. You don't sound sure. No, because I wanted- Jan looks around. Jan is embarrassed to say, but it's more embarrassing that B thinks that Jan was hitting on her. She whispers, I, I wanted a wing woman. A wing woman? For what? For the yoga studios. B's face changes. <laughs> she gets it. It's hysterical. You want to do yoga? No. We used to make fun of yoga. I don't want to do yoga. Every day we used to make fun of yoga. Will you be my wing woman or not? I don't really want to do yoga. Not to do yoga. Maybe to do yoga. No, I don't need a yoga wing woman because I'm going to go get a yoga wing woman. I need you to be my wing woman to get the yoga wing woman. What? The, the chick in the yoga studio. The one you were staring at. Didn't think you saw that. I saw. Yes, the one I was staring at. Be my wing woman. Of course. <laughs> one last mouthful of frozen yogurt and they're out of Pinkberry, practically bounding back to the yoga studio. The class looks almost over. B and Jan stand at the window watching. Rainy, the woman, she looks out the window and sees them, sees Jan. Sees Jan is back. Rainy smiles. Jan's eyes get big because she doesn't know what to do. B sees and B nudges her and then Jan smiles back. What a good wing, wing woman should do. Let's sit back now in child's pose. Jan can't hear Rainy's voice through the glass, but she knows it's gotta be soothing. Breathe into your lower back. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Jan wants to look at B for guidance, but she doesn't want to break her eye contact with Rainy. Because Rainy is still holding that eye contact. Because they're still looking right at each other, so Jan can't look away because Rainy won't. Her voice might be soothing, but Rainy's eye contact is disarming. Now, slowly, keeping your eyes closed, Shift into a comfortable sitting position. Lengthen your spine as you breathe. Relax your shoulders. Let's sit here for a moment. Rainy's spine is lengthened and her shoulders are relaxed, but her eyes are not closed. She sees Jan seeing her and with every second she holds eye contact, she challenges Jan to walk away. To make fun of the yoga studio, Jan won't. Very good. Thank you all for coming. It's lovely to have every one of you here.
with a special look at Jan out the window and be with her. I'll see you all next week, yes? They file out slowly with their yoga mats and towels in their workout clothes. And Jan files in. She turns to look for B, but B stays at the window, so she files in alone. Even as she walks through the door, Rainy holds her eyes. Like Jan's eyes might be in the palm of Rainy's hand or on her back in a tabletop pose. A tabletop pose flat enough to balance Jan's eyes. Stuck there. Welcome. Are you new to yoga? Jan nods. Hi. My name is Rainy. This is my yoga studio. I'm Jan. January. I'm, I'm January. January. That's a wonderful name. And my, my friend B is out there. She reads nine books all at once, one per page at a time, and I made her leave off on page 53. Does she want to come in? No, I, I, I don't think she does. Do you want to take a class? A yoga class? Maybe. This is a yoga studio. My yoga studio. I, I, I know. I'm here to be a spiritual guide in whatever way you'd like guidance. Will you teach me everything about yoga and everything about you, maybe, too? Brady knew Jan would say this, but she wanted to hear it just to be sure. She's sure. She smiles. She breaks eye contact, and that's as disarming as when she holds it. She breaks eye contact, but then she holds Jan's hand. Jan doesn't know how to breathe. I'm, I'm so glad you came. You have a really soothing voice. She does. 